Today I'll be doing a short video on doing split screen using my iPad Air 2. This is iOS 14. So one thing you can first do is load up some apps. This is I'm going to show you how to do split screen with apps in your app drawer. So if you press double press the home button, you have a bunch of loaded apps. Another way of doing that is sliding from the very bottom. Eventually it loads up from the bottom up to the middle. It loads up all of your currently loaded apps. Once you have this screen open, you can choose an app from any app from your dock over here in the bottom. So let's say I want to put Chrome onto YouTube. I just press and hold you, Chrome and now I move it onto YouTube. It'll flash for a second. And now if I want it on the right side, I just move it to the right side and let go. If I want to do it left side, I move it to the left side, let go, and there I have Chrome on the left side, and I have YouTube on the right side. And again, if you want to get rid of it very quickly, uh, you can press home button, I think, it'll get rid of it, or you can press the middle where there's a little gray bar over here, and you can slide it all the way to one end and it'll get rid of it. So if I just want to get rid of Chrome and keep YouTube, slide it all the way, let go, that gets rid of split screen. As I've mentioned before, it's a little more difficult. So I'm gonna double tap home to bring the app drawer. Or I don't know what you call it, all the loaded apps. And I'm gonna do this again. I'm gonna press and hold Chrome. And now move it over to YouTube. But instead of doing it so that it was split screen, I'm gonna make it so it's a pop-up. Now removing it at, from the pop-up is a little more difficult but still the same concept. You press and hold the gray bar at the top. This allows you to move it. Once you have it movable, move it all the way. Yep, this happens quite often. I think you can press and hold and move it. Move it to the top right or... Yeah, that's what I mean. This one is really difficult. It's really difficult to get rid of. It's probably just easier to put it in split screen and then remove it. <clears throat> or I think the easiest way is to use your home button. Put that there and just press home button and it might just get rid of it. And then when you go back into YouTube, it gets rid of the pop-up. So I think that's the easiest way Good luck with your split screen adventures on your iPad.